Warning, the content in this podcast may help you get fit. Your discretion is advised. If you haven't been able to reach your fitness goal, it could be because you keep running into fitness scams, misconceptions, and gimmicks. Finally learn the way and get fit with the Real Results No Gimmicks podcast hosted by body transformation experts Fitness with Flex and Fitness with Flex Hers. Welcome guys to the 43rd episode of the Real Results No Gimmicks podcast. We're your host Fitness with Flex and Fitness with Flex Hers and we're body transformation experts. Many of you may know us from our clients' amazing transformations from all over the United States and all over the world. And in today's podcast, we're going to be speaking about five healthy foods that are actually making you fat. Now, many of you guys are saying, why the hell would I eat something that's healthy that's actually going to make me fat? I'd rather have something unhealthy, right, that's going to taste good. But <laughs> it's not so much that it's unhealthy. They could still be healthy foods, but maybe at your fitness journey right now, you sure, shouldn't be having them. Maybe it'll make you gain weight. You may, might have to increase more muscle mass, increase your metabolism. But there's also some foods out there that might seem like they are healthy based on what's on the label and everything like that. But they might have some hidden things in them, some hidden ingredients that might make you gain weight in the long run. These are definitely more or less the go-to foods when people decide to eat healthier or they decide to go on a weight loss journey and they already have an assumption of what are some of the things they should be eating because of the culture, because of the healthy culture, that this is going to take them to their fitness goal. And usually this is actually what makes them plateau or what, or what makes them gain extra body fat. So the first food is something very, very common, protein bars. Yes, a lot of people have this huge misconception of, oh, when I start getting fit, when I start getting healthy, I have to have a protein bar. And yeah, granted, a protein bar might do well for you being that it has protein, but a lot of these protein bars are filled with a lot of sugar. A lot of people usually go and look uh, for the, the protein amount, but they tend to neglect to look at how much sugar is in that protein bar. Yep, you're basically having a Snickers with a little bit of protein. With a little sprinkle <laughs> of protein, yeah. And that's actually very, very common. Is And it's actually really hard to run into a protein bar that's really low in sugar. You're more than likely um, more often going to run into a protein bar that's fully loaded with sugar versus running into one that has very low sugar yeah so definitely so the healthy part about the bar is basically the protein but you guys cannot neglect the sugars the fats and also the carbs that are in it again if you're having a snickers bar with protein in it yeah the protein is good but everything else that that snicker bars has mm -hmm. is not going to be so good for you mm -hmm. nothing against snickers by the way it's just an <laughs> example <laughs> now the second thing that is healthy but can make you fat are fruits now believe it or not you know you hear all the time have your fruits and vegetables but we're not speaking about the fruits that have all the sugar in it you know what i mean if you're having crazy amounts of pineapple and of banana and stuff like that you will gain possibly some body fat because those sh fruits do contain a lot of sugar in them granted they do have some vitamins granted they do have fiber it's not as bad for you as having something else with all that sugar but at the end of the day sugar is sugar and if you're not using up that energy it will be stored as body fat now oh where, oh, where am i going to get my vitamins then well that's why we have vegetables that's why you should be getting most of your, your vitamins because the vegetables are, have a lot of fiber they have the vitamins and they're not going to be as high in sugar now, I'm speaking mostly about green vegetables. Of course, there's other vegetables out there like potatoes and stuff like that that are loaded with carbs. But speaking main, mainly about the green vegetables. For number three, we have granola. A lot of people like to sprinkle granola on everything once they decide to start eating healthy. But granola also has a lot of sugar and it has a lot of carbs. So if you don't implement it into your diet during the right time, this is also going to make you gain body fat. And the one thing that people don't notice is the serving size. Mm -hmm. You know, you might be thinking, oh, you know, I'm going to have a little bit of granola, whatever it is. And you put like half a bowl. Oh, this mm. is healthy. But when you look at the serving size... All of those numbers back there, the carbs, the sugar, the fats, and all that stuff is based on like a very, very little tiny amount. Mm -hmm. So again, it's healthy, but in excess, For sure. it could make you gain body fat. And 
it's very rare, well, that I've seen in, in my experience, that people tend to have, like, raw, bare granola. Usually, on top of the fact that granola um, has carbs, they usually have the granola with, like, some honey, and then some yogurt, and then, like, some fruits. So, imagine all of that together. Ever wonder why you can't seem to get fit? It's because you've never followed a program designed specifically for your body and fitness goal. The Fitness with Flex coaching program is like a GPS to get fit. Your results will be monitored and updates will be made to your meal plan and workout so that you never plateau. Available in any state or country, go to www.fitnesswithflex.com and learn the way now. Now guys, the next food is fat-free yogurt. The reason that fat-free yogurt is not going to be as good is because if they're taking away the fat, which is what's giving it some of the taste, they're going to load it up now with sugar. So you might have 20, 30% more sugar in this yogurt than a regular full-fat yogurt. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, your body could actually use up some of the fats to help you create hormones and other bodily functions. The excess sugar that you're having... Again, if you're not using it up as energy, it will be stored as body fat. So just because the label looks healthy doesn't mean that it's actually healthy for you. A lot of um, products that ha that just do say fat-free tend to be loaded up with sugar. So you need to start looking at these nutritional facts in the back of all these products. And your last food is very similar to granola, oatmeal. A lot of people like to have this for breakfast. Again, it's not that it's bad, but one, the serving size, and two, has a lot of sugar, has a lot of carbs on top of the additives. If you don't have it plain, you start putting like um, chocolate powder or milk and honey and all that good stuff. It's going to add up. Yeah, like oatmeal has been become popular because a lot of bodybuilders are have mm -hmm. that for breakfast and stuff like that but they're having plain old oats yeah. that has a lot of fibers on all this stuff we're not talking about the one minute quick instant, instant um, quaker ones that <laughs> have all the sugar and all the powder and all that stuff that stuff is going to get you fat basically mm -hmm. the oatmeal itself it does have carbs it does have all this stuff but depending on where you are in your fitness journey you might be able to get away with it but we're talking about, again, those plain oats, not the, the fancy ones with all the sugar and all that stuff. And granted, you had just said that um, it was bodybuilders that were having it. So imagine how many uh, calories they're burning throughout the day just because of the muscle they have alone, let alone when they are exercising. So that's probably why they're having it because they're able to burn it. That's a good point there that just because someone that you see that is healthy and having a healthy lifestyle is having certain foods, that doesn't mean that maybe you should be able to have them you have to think about it this person's probably been working out for years years I years on end mm -hmm. they're probably burning crazy amount of calories it's like um that swimmer michael phelps i think he eats about ten thousand calories a day but think about how much swimming he's doing just with all the training mm -hmm. so i can't be like oh michael phelps is having ten thousand calories let me do let it me too unless it. i'm gonna go swim as much as he did you know what i mean as frequently as exactly because you don't want to go swimming for one day the way he does and then never again all right, guys, we really hope that these tips can help you. Do not follow what everyone else is doing. This is why it is so important to get a customized meal plan and a customized workout routine because although these foods will make you gain body fat, it's not that they're evil, it's not that they're bad. You just have to know when to incorporate it and how much of it is going to benefit you. All right, guys, check out our next episode because it's going to be just as good as this one. Till next time. Thanks for listening to the Real Results No Gimmicks podcast. We really appreciate it. And if you like what you just heard, please feel free to share our episodes with your friends and visit our website, www.fitnesswithflex.com.